Welcome to another video from Inzara.com. Wishing you all a happy and peaceful 2021. In this video, we will see the new free 2021 Excel calendar template. You'll see how you can download it, enter your own data and create 21 different calendar designs all at once using this simple Excel template. Now let's get started. This is how the template looks. There will be two files that are available on our website when you download the 2021 calendar. There are two files. This one is the file without any data. You can see that we haven't entered any data. There's another version of the file which will have sample data, which I will show you shortly. But in the empty Excel template, this is what it will look like. And there are six simple steps to actually get your calendars completed. The first step is to enter the basic settings. So you can choose which year you want the calendar for. And keep in mind that even though it's a 2021 calendar, you can actually create calendars for any year in the past or in future. You can also choose which month the calendar should begin. You can then choose when your week begins. Could be any of the days, then the calendars will automatically update. You can give a name to the calendar so this, these are your basic settings in step one. In step two, choose which days or weekends in your business or in your country where you are living, whichever days are weekends. So you can mark them as Saturday, Sunday, or I can just choose only Sunday, depending on what your needs are. Step number three is to enter a list of holidays. So you would you know, give a date here and then enter the name of the holiday. And for those who are living in the US or in India, we also have provided the list of holidays. And we have a link here where you can probably find um, holidays for other countries as well. So if you have these as holidays, you can just copy the date and the name, and then you can come in and paste them here as date and name. That's it. So after entering the holidays, we move to step number four, where we enter events. This is where you can enter your own personal or business events. There should be a date and a name for the event. The start time of the event is optional. If you, um, if you have a specific start time, you can enter that. We have introduced a new calendar design, which will use the start time, which will, I will show shortly. But this is an optional field. If you have a whole day event, you do not have to enter this start time. So now that we have entered the information in the setting sheet, step number five is to go and pick a calendar. So you can pick a calendar by going to the pick a calendar sheet, which will give you a high level overview of what the 21 different calendar designs are. And you can choose from one of those by clicking, or you can also see at the bottom there are 21 sheets named one to 21. You can just directly go and view any of those. Each of the designs that is a little bit different. So for example, if I'm looking at this, it'll say it'll print on one page, the events will be directly represented on the calendar and uh, names are not listed. So each calendar will have its own features. Now I think it's time to probably look at a, 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 the template with the sample file already entered so that it'll be easier to illustrate the features. So this is um, a file that you can download from our site for free, which already has some data populated so you can understand how the data should be entered. And I have entered a list of holidays, you can see here, and uh, we have chosen the calendar to start from January, the week begins on Monday, and we have Saturday and Sunday as weekends. And here is an example of what the data entry would look like for events. Here we have a data entry you know, uh, uh, overlap. Here we have two events. So let's just, for the sake of this illustration, let's say this is not on the same day. These are two different dates, then you will not get any error highlights there. So let's say these are our events and these are the names of the events. We can go to the first design and you can start seeing that we, all the events have already come through and we have the holidays, which are shown in the orange color, the other events or personal events are shown in the blue, and then weekends are shown with the red font. And so this is how you can instantly generate the calendar. As soon as you enter the 
events and holidays in the setting sheet, these calendars are automatically generated. So this is the first design and this is a second design. Again, you can always clearly see what the difference is in the layout, how many months are shown, um, whether the event names are clearly listed like here, or in some designs, we don't display the event names. We just color them on the calendar themselves. So depending on what your needs are, there are, there is a, you know, of course, 21 different designs that you can choose from, which are all automatically generated. You do not have to um, re-enter the events or dates anywhere. So this is number six. Number seven is gonna print on six different pages. Number eight, where the events are listed here. And here you can see that we have the week numbers. So you can actually have, um, if you're, if you're used to um, looking at the calendars by week, then this would be a more relevant design. And this will print really large, one, one month on each page for 12 pages. And this is six pages because we have two months in each page. Then we have three months in each page, and you guessed it, so four months on each page. And you can also have different type of designs here. Uh, this is six months on a yeah, page and this one prints on 12 pages which means one month per page but you can actually see all the events are also displayed with the names uh, and the holiday names this is similar but you can actually come in directly and enter a text right below the date so this is customizable so if you want to add a note or if you want to add something extra directly uh, below the the date on the calendar you can come in and do that this is designed um, you know essentially you can right click on this image and change the picture to uh, any other file uh, image file so you can create your own photo calendars quickly with this design this one it's similar but instead of an image you can type any kind of quotations or any um, text that you want to uh, type and then print it and uh, on your calendar. So this is where you can use it. Then we have this weekly type of design where uh, it'll, it'll show seven days at a time and you have your holidays and events displayed below. And then this is a daily, so one day at a time. And then we have two years. So if you want to show, for example, we started with 2021. And so if you want to see 2021 and 2022 at the same time. So let me show you going back to the settings. If I had entered 2020 to this calendar, uh, I know that the events uh, are all 2021, so the events may not match um, because we need to enter the events in 2020 for the calendar to show that. But you can see that the holidays, um, the orange color holidays are in 2020 and 2021. The calendar is automatically changed to 2020 and 2021. Um, the holidays in the sample file we have entered for 2020 and 2021. So you can um, keep appending for two years of holidays or events and they get represented in this uh, design that we introduced last year. So now let's look at the 2021 new calendar design. This is the new design that's introduced with this year. And this is a planner type of design where you can have any specific date. So if I want to go back to 2021 and any events associated with that will pop up and it will also show by uh, time. And so let me go back here in on 20 um, December 29, 2021 at um, let's say this is 11 15 a.m., um, which is let's say that's the birthday event. And so if I go back here, you will see that the event will automatically come up here at 11, uh, 11 a.m. slot because anything is in the 30 minute slot will go into that. So 11 to 11.30, anything that's starting, it'll pop up here. And if my if I have another event, so let's say this is also on the same um, date, but let's say this is at 2.15 p.m. Now, let me go back to the calendar. You will see that this gets locked into the two o'clock or two uh, slot. So this is how you can have the daily planner of events by specific start times. And if you had any holidays on that day or any um, you know, other notes that you wanna put in, 
you can just type your notes directly in here for reference. So this is a new design. You can use any of the 21 designs and you can use this to create calendars of any year, uh, not just 2021, any year. And we would really like to get your feedback on if this template is helpful and um, how, if you have any suggestions on how to make it better, please reach out to us. Please post your comment in the comment section below and we look forward to hearing from you. Thank you very much for watching our videos on the channel and uh, wishing you all a very happy and peaceful 2021. See you all in the next video.